Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's video is on calculating a bolt hole circle with a DRO. The first part of this video is using the half key to find the center line or midpoint of two locations. All right, so we're uh, touching off on a plate and zeroing out. Uh, we're gonna find the center of the plate. So with the edge finder, obviously with it spinning, we're gonna run in, touch off on the edge. Okay, we pretend that it touched. Pretend that it touched. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna zero our X the quill. We're going to wrap it across. Drop the quill back down. Come back in. Pretend we touch off on this side. And then we are going to half the X. So you press the one half button. Press the one half button and then you press the X button. Sorry, I'm reaching with the wrong arm. Press the X button. And if we go to zero on the X, that should be the center of the plate. If I've done this correctly. Crank away, get to our zero. Well, it looks like we're in the center of the plate. Yep, How do we get to that half function? That half function? If you look along the bottom of the readout, you have to move over with the arrow here. Yep. You see datum, preset, half features. If you press the half, sorry, press the half, and then let's say we're going to half the Y. So I press the half button, I press the Y button, and now that's half the Y. Now what if I wanted to zero that out? So let's say I was touching against the edge. How would I zero edge? it out instead of half it? Well, you want to make sure you're in zero over here. So if you're not, you've got a set slash zero button. If you press that, now you'll see it says set over here. Press it again, it says zero. Once it says zero, all you do is hit the X or the Y, or if you had a Z, you could hit the third button for Z. Excellent. Our next operation is going to be setting zero on the corner of the workpiece. Looking at the DRO project and how to set the readup out uh, for the bolt hole circles. First thing we need to do is uh, get our zeros on the plate. So we're going to pretend we're touching off on the X here with our edge finder. Let's go ahead and call that zero. So we're going to zero the readout. Okay, now that we've got that zero, we need to raise the quill. And we need to come in 100 thou to account for half the thickness of the edge finder and then re-zero the X. Let's see how good I am. Oh, went a little too far. We're just gonna pretend that's our zero. And we'll zero the X. Now we do the same thing for the Y. So we're gonna come back over, drop the quill back down, come back in, do our touch off. Pretend we're touched off there. Now we're gonna zero our Y. Sorry, that's the Z. We're gonna zero the Y. Raise the quill so we don't hurt the edge finder. And again, we're going to come in 100 thou to account for half of the thickness of the edge finder. And we're going to zero that. So now we're on the so corner or the, the zero of our plate. And when I get back to zero and zero, we'll be right on the corner. Setting up and calculating a full bolt hole circle. There we go. So that's the corner. So now let's look at the uh, smaller bolt hole circle that's got uh, all five holes. It's a complete uh, bolt hole circle. So we want to set up a program to run that. So on the readout for the uh, hide and hand, if you click the right arrow to features, you see you've got datum, preset, half, and features. If you hit features, and then over here you see circle pattern. If you hit circle pattern, I'm thinking there's a whole bunch here already programmed. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can find a blank one and enter a new one. There we go. So we're on a blank line. We've got the new button here. If you hit new, it'll take you into programming your bolt hole circle. So this is a full bolt hole circle. So we leave that as full. It's not a segment. We go down to the next line with the down arrow. We know that there's five holes on the bolt hole circle. So we just enter five drop down again. Now because we're zeroed on the corner of the plate, if you look at the drawing, our Y is actually 1.5 and our X is 2. If we just left it there then it would make the corner of the plate the center of the bolt hole circle which will uh, strap your part. So we want to enter our X on the readout as 2. And if you 
just arrow down, it'll put the decimals in there for you. And our Y center is 1.5. We go down here. Now the next thing it asks for is the radius. And on the drawing, the radius of the smaller bolt hole circle is 1.25. So if we just enter in under radius 1.25, down to the next line, that should be all that we need to do. So if we hit the enter button, it'll calculate. And if we hit run, if we go to the zeros for X and Y, we should be at our first spot along the bolt hole circle. You can also hit view to take a look and make sure it looks like the drawing. So you see this hole here is highlighted. So if we go to the zeros, it'll go to this hole on the drawing. And you can look at the readout in this view where you've got your X and your Y, or if you hit view and hit view again, you go back to your zeros. And when you're in that feature, you'll see these little red dots here. As you get closer, they'll turn yellow and then green when they get to the middle when you're on your zeros. Just gives you a little visual. So I'm going to do the Y first. You'll see as I start getting closer, it's now changed to yellow. I'm almost there. See it's starting to move now towards the center. And I'll probably blow right past it. Yep, there we go. And if we do the X with the same thing, going the wrong way, going the right way helps. Go into the zero. And now, as you can see by the edge finder with our pretend touch off, we're pretty darn close to where that hole is. All right. So when we do the next hole, we hit the next button on the readout. And now we've got a new coordinate to go to for our X and our Y for the second hole. So now we go with our Y back to zero. And with our X to zero, we'll right past that one. You'll see we're in line on the plate with our next hole. And you continue that all the way around the circle by hitting next to go to the next hole. If you want to go back to the hole previously, there's a handy previous button here. So you hit previous, that'll take you back. They to the do the next to... couple next. Yeah, so next, that's where we are. And then let's do the view. The next one, and we still will go to view. Can you do the next and the views as well? Yep. Yeah. You take a look, how see how the circle changes color? Yep, yeah. so now we're on this one. If we hit previous, we go back to that one. Next takes us again here, all the way around. When you're done, use a handy little end button. And that is basically the inner circle. Setting up and calculating a segmented bolt hole circle. Okay, so now for the DRO project, we're gonna look at the, uh, the larger bolt circle, which is a segment, it's not a complete circle. So we've got a little different programming to do. Again, we're zeroed on the corner, and uh, let's have a look at the readout. So, just like with the last bolt circle, we're going to go over to Features, press the Features button, Circle Pattern. It's going to take us into here. Hopefully, we've got another blank one. There we go. So, we've got another new one we're going to enter. And on this one, it's not a full, it's a segment. So you have to hit the right arrow to open up this menu, go down to segment, and press enter. Then we go down to the number of holes. And we know we've got one, two, three, four, five, six holes on the drawing. So we enter six and down. And again, because we're centered on the corner, our X is going to be two. And our Y it's going to be 1.5 on the radius. The radius for the larger bolt hole circle is 1.75. And our start angle, this is where it gets tricky. Looking at the drawing, 3 o'clock is 0 degrees, noon is 90 degrees. So we've got six holes, 
we've got on the drawing 25 degrees between each hole. So there's 25, 50, 100, 125 total. So if we take 125 away from 90, we've got negative 35. You don't enter negative 35 on the starting angle. You take 360 degrees minus 35 degrees, which gives us 325 degrees. So on the start angle, we're gonna put in 325 degrees, and the step angle is 25 degrees, which is shown on the drawing. Then we press enter, it'll calculate, we press run, and again, we'll take a view. And we're starting, and we're at, the starting at the bottom hole. So let's move over to the bottom hole and check it out to see how it goes. Move over to the bottom hole. close. Again, this is our, from our pretend touch off from earlier, so it's not going to be exactly precise. And our X. It's hard to see those little numbers. There we go. So we're on the zeros, and it looks like you're in the middle of the hole. And basically, you just repeat if I want to go to the next yep, one. Same thing. You just press the next button. It'll take you up to the next hole. Again, next will take you to the next hole. If you want the other view, you press view twice. And then you, you know you're in the right view when you've got the red dots there. And then you can go. So we've gone a couple of holes. So let's just see where the readout puts us. So that's the third hole, right? Yeah, because I hit next twice, so this will be the third okay. hole. Okay. So then we can see that on view as well. Yeah. Because it'll tell us what hole we're supposed to be in. Yeah, so now, again, you hit view. You have to hit it twice when you're going to the uh, the view with the red dot. You the third hole is highlighted. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. And then, again, you can go next, or if you need to go back to the previous, you know, depending on how you want to handle it, uh, that's how you do it. And then once you're done, Again, you press the end button and it'll take you back to the normal readout function. I'm glad to see that you enjoyed the video. If you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop in Math. If you've gotten any value out of this video, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.